We've you. got former Romney and Jeb Bush fundraiser Bobby Kilberg with us right now, uh, now backing Marco Rubio. Uh, well, I think your tax return, no doubt, would show you're a very, very, very wealthy person, maybe even a billionaire. <laughs> so I won't go into your tax return. Thank I you. will go on the pressure for all the candidates, because uh, Mitt Romney was saying they should all uh, get their returns out there, more or less saying to me, take it from me, I learned the hard way, you got to get that out there. What do you make of that? Uh, I think that's right. I think the, I agree with Steve, who's, uh, our, our children went to school together and ran the Young Republicans Club at Princeton, and uh, uh, I agree, they should get them out early, and they ought to be as complete as possible. I think one of the things that has come up, Bobby, is that this, and others have raised this, that he's not as wealthy as he says he is, then I come back and say, okay, he's not. Or he doesn't give as much uh, to charity as he claims, okay, he doesn't. And I'm not meaning to minimize any of that. But how would it move the needle on this race in any, in any real, real way? No way. I mean, I agree hmm. with Steve. I think that uh, what's important here is where people stand on the issues, how they conduct themselves as candidates, and uh, who can win the general election. And I don't think uh, tax returns have much to do with that unless there's something extraordinarily egregious. And I would assume Donald Trump has had uh, good lawyers, and that won't be the case. But there is this issue separately that's been brought up, Bobby, that when the federal forms you have to file with the Federal Election Commission, if they don't jibe with any of these returns, that could be an issue. Do you think that uh, part of this is to plant seeds of doubt, much as Donald Trump did by claiming Ted Cruz wasn't a natural uh, born American citizen, even though most lawyers tell me <laughs> that wouldn't be an issue, but you do want to just have the doubt out there and leave it at that? I, I, I would much prefer to, to focus on the issues that are important on this race, and that's the economy, that's national security, uh, that's limited government, that's individual freedom. Uh, and I am willing to take uh, at uh, the word of the candidates, backed up by their returns, that they are paying their fair share. So let me flip it around, Bobby. If he does not release his returns, if Ted Cruz doesn't release his returns, or Marco Rubio, his returns, uh, a bad thing? I, I think everyone should, and I think Mitt did release his terms and returns, and I think he did so in a timely fashion. And I think we're making, you know, a mountain out of a molehill. I really, I really don't think this ought to be what we ought to be talking about right now. Others have said that just what you did right there. Uh, well, but the point was that uh, it will be an issue. Democrats will make it an issue. So take the issue away now. What I've seen, at least in general media coverage, is they never let go. They will never let go. Maybe a Democrat's returns, and I hate to make it seem that, that slanted, but it is, because I've seen how that coverage goes. Uh, no, no big fuss about John Kerry and his ample wealth through marriage. Lots of big issues with uh, you know, Mitt Romney's wealth through well, you know, on acquisitions. That on that case, though, then, you know, Hillary Clinton is not exactly poor either, so... Absolutely. Um, you know, but there's no, longer it, the, there's no longer the zeal for her to get tax returns out, but a lot to get Donald Trump's, right? That's, this is the story today. There'll be other stories tomorrow. Um, I okay. think uh, we ought to take a look at, uh, I don't think Marco Rubio will ever be accused of being a billionaire, so I don't think that's an issue well, as far right. as I'm concerned. It's less of an issue for them. That's right. But you are still saying sooner rather than later, get it out now so it isn't an issue later. Correct. Okay. That's common political sense. All right. That sounds good. That's like right. my <laughs> folks used to tell me. All right. Thank you very much. Very good having you. Nice to have you too. Okay.